Finally! Did I write that in the video title? That usually pulls people in. Finally, a UK made electrical socket that is flush mount that works with Google Home, She That Should Not Be Named, Siri Shortcuts, and If This Then That. Turn fan on. Okay. Turn lamp on. Okay. These sockets are made by a company called BG Electrical. I think the B even stands for British. They have been a staple of the UK electrical scene since long before the smart home industry even began. So if you're one of the people that's usually in my comment section going, Oh my god! I can't believe you can put Chinese smart home equipment in your electrical sockets! Oh my god! Your house is getting burnt down! Oh my god! You can shut your stupid, fat, massive, ugly, stupid, moronic, idiotic face hole. <laughs> All joking aside, according to the manufacturer's website, these things are British safety standard approved. They're BSI accredited. Can you tell I know nothing about safety? ISO accredited. Just go and have a look at the website for yourself. If you like safety buzzwords, if they make you feel all warm and fuzzy and safe, there's a website full of them. Go check it out. <laughs> These sockets are Wi-Fi based, which means there is no hub required, which is awesome. And the software and cloud aspect of all of this is handled by another third party altogether. And BG Electrical don't want you to know who that is, because they've white labelled this service and put their own branding on their software. Can you imagine that boardroom meeting? Right then team, we've done a deal with b and we're going to put our branding on their software. The internet will never know. <laughs> Installing this thing is easy, but dangerous, because electricity will turn you into a deep-fried moron. To demonstrate just how easy this is, here is some footage from a previous video I did because... I can't be asked to edit another video together. <laughs> hey Dum Dum! Yes, you! Do you want to die an agonizing electrical death? No, of course you don't! Follow these instructions! First of all, make sure your multimeter actually bloody works, otherwise you'll die! Look, that would have killed you! Now take a photo of the wiring to make sure that when you inevitably screw this up, you can put it right again! Now run downstairs and switch that electricity off! That's it! Now you won't die! Look! Now disconnect all of the cables from your existing sockets and plug them into the same terminals on your new socket! You should probably realise that you've got the socket upside down! You'll probably realise in a minute! You'll probably realise in a minute! Realise that you've got it upside down! You idiot! That's upside down. F***ing hell. Turn it around! That's it! Turn it around! Oh, you can't! Start again! Ugh. I'm gonna be completely serious for a second because this is important. Even if you've done this a hundred times before, it's still really easy to make a mistake. Okay, that shouldn't have happened. Always, always, always use a multimeter or an electrician's screwdriver or a tester socket to prove to yourself the electricity is definitely 100% off before you start the work. Do not trust the breaker to do its job. Your electrician, the guy who wired in your house, might have been a moron. And if he is wired past your breaker to the outside world, you'll die. And that's really not funny. I know I joke around a lot, but seriously, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't trust what's happening, just call an electrician. It's not worth your life. There is almost definitely already somebody in my comment section right now going, Yeah, you're breaking the law by changing an electrical socket! Or, You just invalidated your insurance, asshole! I don't want to call you names. You're an idiot! But here is a government website to prove you're an idiot. The setup process and the software looks remarkably similar for some reason. And you will find that if you go to add these plug sockets to the third party's application, it will accept them just the same because the software is identical just with different branding over the top. I'm still not telling you who it is. Alright then, keep your secrets. You can put the sockets into pairing mode simply by holding down either of the power buttons for about 5-ish seconds 
Once they're in pairing mode, if you have the Broadlink app installed on your phone, for some reason that automatically discovers them. I can't imagine why that would be. Once they're added to the app, you can do things like set timers so that they will come on at certain times of the day on like a schedule, or you can set countdown timers which will turn them on or off as the timer reaches zero. You can even set things like max time, which means that they will go off after a maximum amount of time so that they don't stay on too long if you have something dangerous plugged into them, like hair curlers? I don't know what you people use them for. <laughs> Once you've got this stuff connected to the app, you can then install the She That Should Not Be Named skill for She That Should Not Be Named, or you can install the Google Home service for Google Home, and you will immediately be able to control either socket by name. If you name the left socket one thing and name the right socket another thing, both things will be discovered and controllable independently. Looks-wise, I think they're beautiful. They're a really nice, kind of simple, glossy design with nice accent lighting. And the little push buttons just feel great to press. I just can't stop pressing them. Probably not safe. Uh, the sockets are nicely spaced apart so that if you've got obnoxiously large plugs, you can have no problem getting them in side by side. These are not just pretty, they're actually really functional sockets. So I reviewed some sockets not that long ago probably a year ago, I don't understand how time works. And basically, they'd got like lights on them that were brighter than the sun, and they made this horribly loud ticking noise whenever you turned them on or off, which meant that if you ever actually got to sleep, thanks to the LEDs keeping you awake, you would be immediately woken up should they turn on or off because they were so loud. These particular sockets, the LEDs on them are far more subtle. I can sleep with these LEDs facing me. I know, I have tried. Uh, and they don't tick anywhere near as loud. They still have this satisfying little noise. But it's just about quiet enough that I don't think it'll wake you up. BG Electrical haven't sponsored this video, and nor has that third party company who I definitely haven't given the game away. Bro Link. Totally for dudes and bros, dude. Neither of those two companies have sponsored this video, I just think this is an absolute bargain. There are a few people in my comments section and on my Facebook that recommended them to me, and honestly, thank you so much. These are absolutely brilliant. And at £21, I think I will probably be sticking them all over the house. These are fantastic little sockets, and they are much, much better than having something that you have to plug in and then code that up and have your missus looking at it going, yeah, another smart home device. Is that how women behave? I don't know things. I don't know things, particularly about women. <laughs> they are better than the sockets I reviewed previously, and they're not sold anymore anyway. This is literally your only option in the UK right now if you want flush mounted sockets. They are pretty to look at, they work with Google Home, She That Should Not Be Named, If This Then That, and Siri Shortcuts. I can't recommend these enough, and like I said, no sponsorship whatsoever, I just think you should buy them. There are links in the description to these sockets if you're interested in buying some. They're only available in the UK because BG Electrical are a UK company. If you know of an American equivalent, please do let me know in the comments section and I'll stick that in the video description as well so other people can check those out. Maybe you have other suggestions, maybe you think Wi-Fi is rubbish and you prefer Zigbee. That's a whole nother conversation for another video. We've had that argument enough. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up, that will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people here are my patrons from Patreon, and seriously, it's got to be job quitting time soon. With these guys' help, I should be able to do that in the not-too-distant future, and you can come and make that dream a possibility at either Patreon, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll definitely love you forever. I can't work 80 hours a week anymore. These are my YouTubes, and my Facebooks, and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there, and we can be best friends. I shall see you next time. Finally! Did I write that in the video title? This down there, isn't it? I should probably look down instead of up. Finally!
Did I write that in the... Oh my god! I can't believe you made a Chinese plug. I didn't make them. Paul, start again. Oh my god! I don't believe you put a Chinese electrical socket in your house! Oh my god! You're in so much danger now! Your insurance company won't look after you anymore! Your house is gonna burn down! I might have gone a bit far with that one. <laughs> You will find that you can automatically, immediately control these things by name, which is brilliant. Br brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs>